Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockanger. Today's story is the BART ransomware. If you're like me, you're probably a little bit sick of ransomware. It seems like every day ransomware is really at the top of the news. Unfortunately, though, this is because bad guys really are exploiting it right now. Some of the latest research says ransomware has increased 3,500%. So bad guys really are starting to leverage it because it is very lucrative. In any case, today's story comes from some research from Proofpoint who found a new variant of ransomware they're calling BART. I won't go into all the details, but basically their research suggests that this ransomware comes from the same folks that are running the Drydex and the Locky campaign. Now, if you get this ransomware, it comes in an email. In fact, it's probably a pretty easy to spot email because it doesn't seem to have much body content. But the email will have a zip attachment that might have the name photos or pictures or something like that. Now, within the zip attachment, if you open it, is a JavaScript or .js file. You do not want to open or interact with that file because, of course, it's going to infect you with a dropper file that will then, of course, download and install ransomware on your computer. So really, it's very simple similar to many of the other ransomware variants out there, including Locky. It is asking for about three Bitcoin, which is quite a bit of money today. I think it's worth around $2,000 today. In any case, the reason I bring up this ransomware is because a lot of ransomware now is using .js or JavaScript files, often in emails with zip attachments. If you're a WatchGuard Firebox owner, I just wanted to share a good tip with how to block these. Really, JavaScript can be hard to block on the web via HTTP because there's lots of legitimate reasons to use JavaScript. However, JavaScript is very rarely used legitimately in email. It's quite easy for you to block JavaScript in email. If you have an email server behind our Firebox, you can use our SMTP proxy to protect yourself from this type of BART ransomware. Basically, you just have to use our proxy to block JavaScript. You should block it two ways. First, by the extension.js, but also by the MIME content type, which I believe is text slash JavaScript. Now, if you're using Fireware 11.10.4 or higher, this won't only block JavaScript, but it will also block the JavaScript within a zip file, which is very important to catch this particular type of email. In any case, despite the fact I'm sick of talking about ransomware, this simple tip might help protect you against the latest ransomware. Besides that, the other tips are be sure to back up, uh, make sure not to open Word documents with macros from the internet, and also you might want to consider APT Blogger because it has a chance to catch the ever-changing or morphing malware out there. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.